Hi, I'm Lou and I'd like to show you my electric go-kart. Everyone loves racing. So everyone loves go-karting, right? It's kind of boring, actually. One car is always the fastest and all the other cars follow it around like a train, unable to pass. What if there was a go-kart that had all the features of a video game built in? There is. It's called a flash cart. It has a dashboard with speedometer and tachometer, an MP3 player, and a bank of boost tokens. With the touch of a button, you can see where you are on the leaderboard, on the track, or in your rear view mirror. Your steering wheel puts all the controls right at your fingertips. The back of the cart is a flashboard that lets everyone know who you are, what team you are on, and what you think of their racing abilities. The front of the cart has a laser cannon for shooting other carts and a token scoop to pick up shield, laser, and boost tokens off the track. So let's take a look at the build. First I mounted this little 7 inch monitor on the front as a dashboard. And because I couldn't see it I had to actually cut a piece out of the steering wheel here. And then I wanted some buttons so I got a Logitech Momo gaming steering wheel and cut out the center and mounted that in here. It has a normal brake pedal but the gas pedal feeds to a sensor inside the computer. I custom built this back shell out of fiberglass and included a 22 inch monitor and a grill up here that I use as a sound port. Here's the back of the monitor with the video and power cables going down to the main unit. Here's a driver circuit and two speakers. The whole thing is powered by three 12 volt deep cycle batteries. This is a Briggs & Stratton E-Tech 15 horsepower electric motor with a Sevcon controller. And here's my custom control unit. Let's take a look inside. Right here is a 2.6 gigahertz small footprint Zotac motherboard and underneath this that you can't see about this size is a solid state hard drive. This has two video outputs to drive both monitors and a USB connection to this interface board. The interface board talks to the motor controller, reads all the buttons on the steering wheel, turns on and off the laser cannon, and reads various sensors on the cart. It also controls this bank of seven relays, which controls the motor speed. All right, let's go for a ride, co-pilot. Push this button to start the engine. Turn on some music. And hit it. Thank you. 